gonna record this on Zoom. So let's go ahead and get started. Again, I'm gonna go over the intro, kind of an intro here. It's gonna be a 30 minute class. Matt and Tal are recommended, but not necessarily required. You could also use like a blanket or a cube of rug or something, that's great too. We have four different main punches that we're gonna go through and use today. So I'm gonna go over those real quickly. We have the jab, which is gonna be our lead arm, whether that's our right or our left arm. We are gonna stand at an angle with one foot kind of leading the way. So the jab is gonna be the front arm. Across is using that back arm and crossing something across your body. Then we have a hook punch, which means you're going to put your arm in a hook position or an L and you're gonna punch to the side if you were trying to punch somebody in the gut is a really like good way of thinking about that one. And then an uppercut where you're gonna punch up underneath. Imagine you're gonna hit that opponent right underneath the chin, kind of striking up from the hip and under. All right, and then we have a front kick kicking with that front lead leg as well as a rear kick behind us. We may also use a side kick out to the side. We're gonna do three different rounds with a little bit of cardio and abs in between. So let's go ahead and get started. Go ahead and hit start on that, whatever smart devices you're using it. And let's go. So our first combination is gonna be a jab, a cross, and an uppercut. So coming into our fighter stance here, with our left leg in front, we're just gonna bow. Front to back foot here. Bounce it out, shake those arms out. Let's get nice and loose. Think like wet noodle. And then we're just gonna twist side to side. So from the front, this is kind of what it looks like. So just staying light on the balls of your feet. All right, let's go ahead and bring it into that fighter stance. We're just bringing that right leg kind of 45-ish degrees behind us. And we're gonna start with some jabs. Jab, so leading with that front hand. For me, that's gonna be the left. If you wanna start on your right, that's okay too. So jabbing it out. Couple more here. And then we're gonna go with that back cross punch and twist and cross. Twist and cross, keep that other hand right in front of you. Cross, cross, keep that, and uppercut, uppercut, uppercut. Uppercut. All right, let's go ahead and try those all three together. So, jab, cross, left uppercut. Jab, cross, left uppercut. If you're just joining in, if you have any questions, go ahead and drop those in the chat for me if you have any injuries that you want me to be aware of. You have the option to be on camera. So we've got jab, cross, uppercut with the left. Again, jab, cross, uppercut with the left. And cut, good. And uppercut. And again, uppercut here. Let's do two more times. Jab, cross, up. Jab, cross, up. All right, shake it out. We're gonna come back to our boxer bounce. If you're just running in late, we're starting here in our boxer bounce. We're gonna work it over to the other side. So we're now leading with our right leg. So all the punches change. So our jab is now with our right, that front hand. Cross with the back left. The uppercut is gonna be with the right front. And again, jab, cross, uppercut. Jab, cross, uppercut. And just keep punching it out. If you forget the combo, I want you to just keep moving. And at any time during the class, if you need to take a break, just go ahead and come down into a seated position. On that mat, we're just coming back to this fighter bounce. And again, jab, cross, uppercut, a couple more. And up, good. And up, all right, let's bring it back to that fighter bounce. We're gonna add a little more to this. So bring it back to your lead side, which is gonna be your left side. So right leg is behind you. We're leading with that left hand again, okay? We've got a jab, cross, uppercut. We're gonna turn, squat it down, come back up, side and or front kick. Bring it back to that boxer bounce. Again, jab, cross, uppercut, twist and squat. And then you can either kick here or you can turn and kick to the front. Bring it back a little bit faster this time. And kick. Good, you've got this. Squat and kick. Grab, cross, uppercut, squat, and kick. Uppercut, 
Squat. And kick. Keep moving. You got this. You got this. Don't forget to breathe. A nice little exhale. Anytime you're punching, it's not only going to give you more power, but it's going to remind you to breathe. Uppercut. Squat. Kick it. One more time. Jab. Cross. Uppercut. Squat. And kick. How are we doing? Give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, um, if you're on Zoom with me, if you need anything, drop it in the chat at any time. You also have the option to come on video for some form correction. All right, let's switch it. Bring it over. We're gonna leave with that right leg now. So we've got the jab with the right, cross with the left, uppercut right, squat. Now we're gonna kick with that right leg. Jab, cross, uppercut, squat, and kick. And let's go again. Speed it up a little here. And kick. Remember, this is your workout. So whatever pace you need, if that's faster or slower, that's okay. We got the uppercut, squat, and kick. Nice. Uppercut, squat, and kick. And kick. So you can switch it up a little bit. Kind of vary if you're kicking forward or if you're coming and turning and kicking to the front here. All right, let's bring it back to that box of shuffle. Good. We're just going to rotate it around. Again, staying nice and light on the balls of our feet here. Bring it back. All right, next combo. I'm going to slow it down for you. You've got a job with the left hand. We're going to step back with that right leg, reverse lunge, and we're going to kick. So, job with the left, reverse lunge with the right, and kick. Jab, lunge, kick. Adjust your feet as needed from that punch stance to whatever you need for your lunge. It may be a little bit deeper. Don't forget that forward kick. Speed it up a little. Good. And kick. Reverse lunge and kick. One more time. Lunge and kick. All right, bring it back to that boxer bounce. Nice deep breath here. We're gonna add on to this. So I want you to bring yourself into a split squat and or lunge position. We're gonna jab, reverse lunge, kick, jab cross. Bring it back to that stance, jab, step back and lunge, kick. Followed up by a jab and a cross. Kind of attacking that punch. Jab, you're gonna lean back for that lunge. Kick it forward, attack with those two punches. Jab, reverse lunge, kick, jab, cross. All right, let's go, we're gonna do six. Take a second, wiggle it all out, you got this. Jab, lunge, kick, jab, cross. Lunge, kick. Take this at your own pace. Give me the green light. We're halfway there. Cause I'm ready to go. Let's have a good time. Let's go. Good. Don't forget to kind of attack with those last two punches. Bring it back. Reset. Lunge. Kick. Jab cross. One more. Jab. Lunge. Kick. Jab cross. All right, let's jab cross it out before we switch to the other side. Burn it out. Left, right, left, right, left, right. You got this, you got this. Keep moving here. Nice job. Good job, Carolyn. Keep going. We got five, three, two, and one. All right, shake it out. We're gonna bring it to the other side. So we are leading with our right leg and our right jab now. We're not gonna do the, just the jab and kick. We're gonna do the whole combo. So just to refresh, we've got a jab, step back, reverse lunge, kick, jab, cross. So jab right, lunge, kick, right left. And again, right left. Good. Jab, reverse lunge, kick it forward, right left. Shake it out. Lunge, kick, right left. You got this. 
Make those lunges good. If you need to hold on to a chair or walk for support, that's an option. You can also keep those lunges really shallow. Jab, lunge, kick, right, left. Good, right, lunge, kick, right, left. Try not to get too in your head about it. Forget a kick like I just did. Just keep moving, okay? Doesn't have to be perfect to be good. Let's go one more time. Jab, lunge, kick, jab, cross, burn it up. You got this, Carolyn, keep going. Nice, nice, nice. If you're joining me on the live stream. Say hi, let me know where you're tuning in from. Keep going, right, left, right, left. We got three, two, and one. Shake it out. That was a great time to grab a sip of water if you need it. If you don't, I want you to keep moving side to side. We're gonna go into jumping jacks, high knees, a speed bag, and then we're gonna go into another punch combo. So jacks, if you need a modification or a variation, low impact, you're stepping out, side to side. All right, and let's go. We're gonna do 20. Take whatever version you need. Try to stay nice and light on your feet. Almost there. Last one. All right, high knees. You can take it into a walking high knee, low impact high knee, or you can run it out. High knees. And go. We're gonna go about 20 seconds here. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Whatever you do, I want you to keep moving. You need to take it into a seated march. That's an option too. Keep going, keep going. We've got five. Good. And last one. All right, shake it out. Our speed bag. Let you know, imagine. There's an imaginary a boxing bag here in front of you. You're just gonna roll it over, sitting at the outside edge of your hands. Keep your thumbs on the outside of your fist. And let's roll it out. 20 seconds. Go, 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 go. Keep those arms up high, right in front of your face. Kind of look up. You can kind of bounce here. You can stay light on your feet, right on the ball of your foot. Punch it out, come on. You've got five. Three, two, and one. Shake it out. Okay, Carolyn. All right, let's step it side to side here. We're gonna do that one more time before we move on to another punch combo. And let's go, jumping jacks. Again, take the modification or variation if you need it. We're doing 20. Go at your own pace. You know me, I know you, we know it. Whenever I fail, you've always been there. That's simply for mommy, you're blown it. You don't see when I'm growing. You don't see where I'm going. You only see in the moment, you know what I'm All right. Step it out. Bring it into those high knees. Again, whatever version you need, run it out. I need an elbow. Just a little twist here. You can also do walking high knee march, depending on how much space you have. Ooh, keep going. You got this. You got this. Good. Keep going here. We've got five. Three, two, and one. Are right, we going to bring it back to that speed bag? Let's roll it out here. Left over right. Boom, boom, boom. Just tiny little punches here. Right on the outside edge of that hand. Keep those arms up. Shoulders are locked away from your ears. Keep your core pulled in. Don't forget to breathe. All right, we got five. Three, two, and one. Shake it out. Got a sip of water if you need it. All right, we're gonna introduce a new punch here. It's gonna be the hook. So go ahead and come into that fighter stance, right leg back. Post your weight on that left front leg. 
Bounce side to side here for a second. So you've got a jab with the left, a right hook, jab with the left, left, right cross. I know it's a lot. One more time. Jab, hook, jab, jab, cross. Bringing your hand back to your face after every punch to protect it. And across. All right, let's go. Jab, hook, jab, jab, cross. Jab, hook, jab, jab, cross. You got this. Hook, jab, jab, cross. Don't confuse the hook with that cross. The cross is going more across your body and up. The hook is a little bit lower here, okay? Hook, jab, jab, cross. Jab, hook, jab, jab, cross. You got this. Couple more here, and then we're gonna switch sides. Hook, jab, jab, cross. One more time. Hook, and across. All right, shake it out. Boxer bounce. We're gonna just shuffle to the other side. This used to be my hype song before every like 5K, half marathon. All right, same thing, other side, leading with the right hand this time. We've got a jab, a left hook. Jab with the right, jab with the right, left cross. One more time. Jab right, left hook, jab right, jab right, left cross. Let's go. And across. Jab, hook, jab, jab, cross. If you have a boxing bag, you can certainly use that if you want. And if you don't have a boxing bag, just imagine there's a person standing right in front of you. And that's who you are pretend he didn't, hitting. All right, shake it out. Let's try it again. Jab, hook, jab, jab, cross. Or one of those little dummy boxing guys. You know what I'm talking about. Jab, hook, jab, jab, cross. Hook, jab, jab, cross. Again, hook, jab, jab, cross. All right, one more time. Jab, hook, jab, jab, cross. Bounce it out. Bring it back to the center. All right, we're gonna do alternating hook burn out. So hips are facing forward, weight is even on your two feet. Arms are here, alternating hooks. Just coming into the side of that bag or that imaginary, like boxing, dummy, mannequin, whatever you wanna call it, side to side. Nice big twist on those hips. Think about throwing that punch all the way through your shoulder. Good, keep going. Couple more. Three, two, one. All right, we're gonna go back to the uppercut. Right underneath the chin. Left, right, left, right. Nice big twist. Nice little punches from the side. Keep going, speed up. We've got five. Three, two, and one. Bring it back to center. Dog it out. We're gonna jog in place here. We've got eight jobs followed by eight crosses leading with the left. One, two, three, four. You can kind of creep forward if you want. And then I want you to shuffle it back. And then we're gonna cross, cross. Again, shuffle forward if you want. If you have the space, shuffle it back. And we're gonna combine them now. Jab as you come forward. If you don't have the room to go forward, you're right here. Now, you're gonna cross as you move it back. Again, you don't have a space, you're just twisting. Right here. Two, one. Shake it out. Shuffle back to the end of your space if you have it. Jab and move forward. Good. Shuffle it back. We're gonna cross and shuffle forward. Cross. Shuffle forward, leaning with that left leg. Our feet are never crossing. Because if we start crossing our feet, what's gonna happen? We're probably gonna fall. So always going with that left lead leg. Shuffle it back. Cross, cross. Cross, cross. Get out, we're gonna switch sides. So bring it back, leading with the right hand this time. Right jab, 
Shuffling forward, leading with that right foot. Shuffle it back. Left hand, cross, and shuffle forward. Bring it back. Good. Right jab. Shuffle forward. Shuffle it back. We're gonna cross and bring it forward. I know it's a little awkward, just take it one punch at a time. Shuffle it back. All right, we're gonna combine them. Jab and move forward. Cross and move back. Keep the punches small. One more time. Cross and move it back. All right, shake it up. Bring it back to your lead side, your left side. You've got a jog cross burn out here. And go. Punch it out, punch it out, punch it out. You got this. Nice small punches, bringing it back to your face every time. Nice little hip twist. We've got five, three, two, one. Shake it out, switch sides. Leading with the right this time. Right, left, right, left. You got this, punch it out, punch it out. We've got five, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Go ahead and roll out that mat or towel if you're using it. Again, you do not need it. You can also just come down on the floor or if you need to elevate on a wall, counter, box, step, or chair, that's also an option. We're gonna come down into a plank position. Option to take a full plank or an elbow plank. Go ahead and come down. I'm gonna take an elbow plank here. One, just holding here. Oh, and we're slipping. Holding here, you wanna take it up a notch. Tapping it out. Even more, plank jacks. Find the option that works for you today. Don't forget to breathe. We're gonna hold for 10. Or punch or tap it out, whatever you're doing. And go ahead and drop down to your knees. Push back, quick little child's pose here. Come forward. One more time, child's pose. And forward. All right, we've got sit-ups. Couple of different options for you. You can do a roll down here. Really helpful if you have an injury like a hernia, low back pain, if you have any type of um, postpartum things like diastasis recti, if you have separation of the abdominal walls, so you're just gonna roll down, come back up. Roll down, come back up. Other option, full sit up. We start without a dumbbell. Nice and slow coming down. If you're doing the full option, I don't want you to rush the down part. That's really where the core is going to engage. Keep going here. Nice and slow coming down. Again, you can use the dumbbell behind you. You need a little extra support. If you're doing the roll down option, you're doing twice as many. Just keep going. If you need to take a break at any time, if you feel any type of pain, please stop and listen to your body. One more here. Go ahead, roll it up. Quick little forward fold. Come back down. We are going to do a bicycle crunch on the floor. If that's not a good option for you, you can do a standing knee to elbow crunch. Or if you want to sit in a chair, you can do high knee to elbow there as well. If you're on the floor with me here. All the way down, twist and kick, twist and kick. Keep that chin away from your chest. Kind of gently looking forward or up. Nice big twist here. You can also do this. Another great option. Keep going here. We've got 10. Five, three, two, and one. Go ahead and rock it up. Come back over, we're gonna do that one more time. Into that plank position. We're almost done, stick with me. We've got this in one more quick boxing combo and we're done. So bring it back into whatever plank option feels good for you today. You can also do the toe tops or plank jacks if you want a higher intensity option. If you're holding a plank, try to let your breathing slow down. Keep your hips down. Ooh, mine are a little high. All right, go ahead and bring it down. Just a little child pose if you need it. We're coming back over for those sit-ups. If you want a standing option for these, 
You can do a good morning or a standing setup. All right, roll downs. If you need that option, or a full setup. And go. Keep going. The full setup is not not feeling savory. You can also do a little crunch here. All right, five more. Last one. All right, quick little forward fold. Let's take it into that bicycle crunch. Roll it down. Knees up. Twist and kick. Keeping those shoulders lifted. Ten. Three, two, one. Rock it at comfort. Ten if you need to. I don't want you getting lightheaded. Finish it out. So we're gonna combine our hunches with a front kick as well as a back kick. So bring that left leg out in front. It's our lead leg. Lead hand with the left. Grab a sip of water if you need it. I know I do. All right. So jab, cross. Front kick, back kick, uppercut, uppercut. Jab, cross, front kick, back kick. Uppercut, uppercut. Jab, cross, kick, kick, up, up. Keep going, you got this. Front kick, back kick, uppercut, uppercut. You get one punch and kick at a time. Good. Feel your weight shift as you're doing those two different kicks. Uppercut, uppercut. Ooh, I forgot the kick. I don't know. All right, shake it out. Let's start over. Jab, cross, front kick, back kick, uppercut, uppercut. One more time. Jab, cross, kick, kick, uppercut, uppercut. Shake it out. Come back to the boxer bounce. Gradually make your way over. Switching for that right hand to be in front. Same combo. Jab with the right. Cross with the left. Front kick right. Back kick left. Uppercut. Uppercut. Right. Left. Kick. Kick. Up. Up. Whew. You got this. You've already won today. So you shut up for yourself to do this workout. You got this. No matter how the rest of the day goes, if it gets difficult, if it gets really good, I want you to think about what you did for yourself today by showing up here. Even if it didn't go exactly how you wanted it, maybe it was really hard, maybe it was too easy. I don't know. Any workout is a good workout, even if it doesn't feel that great when we're doing it. All right, shake it out. Boxer bounce. Bring it back to the center. All right, we're gonna hook to burn it out. And go, hook, hook. Go on, keep going. Couple more. You can kind of bring one leg to the front if you need to. Feels a little better for me than having my hips squared straight up. We've got five, three, two, and one. Rolling mark. He died. Roll it out, roll it out. Make sure that you do some stretching afterwards just because this is such a short class. I leave you to do the stretching on your own. I do have an upper body stretch on my YouTube channel. Go ahead and bring it back to the steps. If you need it afterwards, let's go for three, two, and one. Wrap it out. Left, left, left. Go, 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 go. We're almost there. Great job today. All right, cross. Cross, cross, cross. 
Punch it out, punch it out. We've got five. Three, two, and one. Awesome job. Ooh. Thank you so much for joining me today, Carolyn. I hope you enjoy the workout. Have a great rest of your Wednesday, and I hope to see you in a class again soon. Bye.